hi guys how are you doing i hope that you're all doing great god has been good to you and so excited to get this opportunity to come in here and speak a few things to you now most of you know that i do teach people how to do imports from china to all over the world so if you do want ever to do your imports from china from alibaba from other suppliers that you can never find on alibaba i have them for you because that is what i do and i've been doing it this is my ninth year so last year a brief history about the whole teaching process last year in april 17 i started teaching people how to do their imports from china and god is good i've mentored and taught thousands and thousands and thousands as we speak i'm so excited and it comes with a lot of contentment i'm so excited that i feel like even if my time would be like it is tomorrow to leave this world i will have accomplished all the things that god intended me to accomplish when i'm on this earth that is how contented i'm feeling because all because of all the lives that have impacted and the lives that have changed you that have taught how to do your inputs from china put it into practice it's one thing for me to teach you it's another thing for you to decide whether you're going to do the thing or not it's one thing for me to teach you it's another thing for you to decide whether you're going to do it or not eh? and remember for you to start a business mainly in ports eh? you don't need so much money no 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 you don't need a lot a minimum of like uh, 50 dollars you're good to go a minimum of like 50 dollars you can start importing things from china the smallest of the smallest may it be jewels may it be hair accessories like the one that i'm wearing i wear that is a business that you can start with very little amount of money a lot that you can do so make use of the little amount of money that you have start something and social media has come and changed everything for us back in the days when i was starting to do my businesses and when i was flying to china back then when i was very young there was no at any point where you would start a business with something very little because the mode of sales really determines the amount of capital that you have to put in in your business and now that you can import something and start selling on jumia you can start selling on amazon you can start selling on instagram on facebook on tiktok social media has come and changed everything take advantage of it right take advantage of it so i'm so excited to be here with you just a reminder before i even forget on 25th of march on 25th of march 2023 we are holding our first conference of the year it will be at kenpinski book your slot as early as now the slots are few that are remaining but book your slot as early as possible for the people that are out of the country unless you send someone to represent you we are not going to do it online but later i'm going to prepare a virtual conference for the people that are out of the country let me repeat that for the people that are out of the country you can send someone to represent you that is enough for the people that would want to be there themselves you have to wait for the virtual conference we already did one this year on uh, january 14th we had a virtual conference for the people that are out of the country but for the 25th of march so on uh, on 25th it is only for the people that are in the country book your slot as early as possible i'm only doing 50 slots for 50 people only someone asked me why 50 people it's because i always want to work with a number that i can be able to deliver comfortably yeah i i always want to be able to work with a number that i can comfortably my eyes can be able to see each one of you see if someone is getting stranded see if someone is sleeping in the class so that is why i always do a max of 50 people you're most welcome book your slot our payment details will be on on our description box the the pay bill number and all that it will be on the description below box below so god bless you
So, uh, an update that I came to do for you all, I, I felt the need to do this update in regards to Chinese opening the borders and all that. Huh? Uh, a few weeks ago, the Chinese borders were opened for all of us. Something that we have waited for not less than three years. Can you imagine? The last time I'd flown to China was in the year 2019. They had closed their borders for quite some time because of the COVID. But now they're out there welcoming each one of us. It does not have any issues flying to China. But for the people that have ever flown to China and they have Chinese visas, you just go to the embassy. It is the, the, the rates or the, the charges that they charge for the, for the visa are still the same there's nothing that has changed but now the problem is for the people that are trying to fly to china for the first time they are made to understand that they require something or a document or an invitation from uh, from the government of china they need an invitation from the government of china i have no idea how one is supposed to go about getting that specific thing. And I'm just hoping the, the noise up there is not distracting you in another office. So I'm hoping that um, as time goes by, I'll get to know the procedure of going about it. Because most of my students want to fly to China, but they can't because of that specific thing. Also, another thing is the, is the flight cost. I'm telling you, we are paying times times three or times four of what we used to pay. The flight cost is a bit high at the moment. It, actually, it's very high at the moment. So I would advise you, as your mentor, as your teacher, I would advise you, if you don't have something that is really pushing you to go to China at the moment, chill for a moment. This rates are i'm sure these flight rates are going to go down in a span of like of like six months these flight rates will go down at the moment they are very 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 expensive they are very high i i i don't even know what you guys will do at the moment if you really want to fly and i know there are people that have told that hey why don't you chill why don't you just wait instead of flying just place your orders because it's still it's almost the same. I've given you all the suppliers, like more than a hundred suppliers in the Telegram class. And you know how to shop your things from Alibaba. How about taking some time out, ship your things from China as you sell, as you stabilize your business, as you stabilize your business. Look at this from this perspective. You ship, you do them because the, the, the cargo is, the cargo is arriving in the country on time or in the countries at time because the, the 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 importation has not been affected so why don't you just ship your products then work on your business work on your business take a take a, a moment of like seven months then after that see if the rate will be down or if necessarily you'll have to fly to china the business will have made enough money to even pay for you the flight cost to even pay for you the flight because the business itself that is quite important let's do a quick math if that standard um flight cost at the moment is two thousand dollars if you want cheaper you have to use an airline that is taking you like 34 hours to take you to china so let me take the standard one it's that it's two thousand dollars you need like another a thousand dollars for the for the accommodation and for the for the accommodation and also for the food and all that let's give it a minimum of a thousand dollars that is a total of three thousand dollars and you haven't bought your items you haven't even paid for the shipping cost you haven't even started selling you haven't even started the business itself in in the country that you're coming from that is a bit tricky that uh, that's that's not the way forward for a business person who has joined my class, whom I've taught how to import their things from China, whom I've given an agent in China to help them ship their products to all over the world. So it's, it's, it's not a wise decision to make. So take a moment, 
forget about the, right now the people that are flying to china are people who are having established businesses it is a business demand that is taking you to china yeah and it is a business that is paying for its own cost flying and accommodation and all that so there are people the people that right now are flying to china are people that really know what they are doing and their businesses are really established and all that so be cautious take it slow that is my advice that i can give you i'm saying so because i've seen people who just want to fly to china and want to fly and want to fly so take it slow establish your business make your orders have your products in the country that you're in it doesn't matter whether it is sierra leone whether it is guinea whether it is cameroon kenya sudan and all those other places have the products in the country that you're in sell them establish yourself know that by the time you're flying to china you really know what you're doing so apart from the two things and that is the flight cost and uh, and that documentation required i, I think it is called a te required for the first timers there is no any other problem that is coming up with this whole china travels for the people that have visas on their passports to fly to china five days working days applying for a visa you'll have your visa and you can fly any day anytime like myself i'm okay to fly any day anytime because i've been there so many times and my passports do have you know all those visas that is actually one of the requirements they ask you if you have an old visa then you're good to go it's a, it's enough presentation if you don't have you have to have an invitation from the the ministry of uh, i don't know what from the china so i don't know and once again for the people that always ask me to help them to get those papers i don't know how to go about it and one thing about me is that i don't teach and i don't even advise people on things that i have no idea of how to go about it i don't know anything to do with that paper i think or i have heard that your supplier is supposed to get it for you from the government but i'm not sure but i'm going to do my homework when time comes and i get some good information i'm going to come back here and share it with you so i needed to give you those updates so another update that i was almost forgetting to give you is that uh from now all day from first of march all day to 25th of march I won't be taking the Zoom meetings. So you are not supposed to pay for a Zoom meeting and if you do, you might get your money back. Reason being, I won't be able to do Zoom meetings. I mean serious preparations for the workshop that is coming up on 25th of March. It, it takes a lot to plan a successful conference where people are going to come, sit, benefit enjoy and not even get tired it, it takes a lot last year we did four conferences two at sankara hotel one at moven peak and the other one at kempinski and they were such a success i also want to do other conferences this year that will be such a success so i have to prepare myself and due to that i won't be able to take any zoom meeting for the person that would want to join the inputs class for the person that would want to join the inputs class it's so much open at the moment yeah very much open and you can just get using you can use our link uh, down on the description below and just join the class get in there learn how to do your inputs and start doing your inputs also another thing that i noted today i had a sister from sierra leone that we were doing a zoom today and uh, one thing that she didn't want to join the class and she told me the reason was because she thought she thought it is a place where i i you have to sit you have to you know we have to do a zoom meeting and all that no the class does not happen like that it is there to accommodate each one of us from all over the world i've written down all the key things that are needed that you need to know in regards to input you're supposed to go through all the notes that i've made in there then from there we do lives on tuesdays or on wednesdays on tuesdays on 
or on Wednesdays. Remember, that is a moment that I only take questions from the members. It's not a moment to teach. I take very personal questions. Maybe someone is having a hiccup here and there. So I take questions and answer them to the best of my knowledge. It's always a very beautiful moment. As we speak, I'm having a very huge group, almost 200 students as, as we speak right now that are in the class and the, and the ones that I'm teaching at the moment. So if you'd want to join the imports class, just join it at the moment because also I'm expected to travel. And uh, when I travel, I'm intending to pause the class in like four weeks time. I'm intending to post the class until I don't know when. So this is a perfect moment. Just join the class, learn how to do your inputs and you'll be good to go. Just another reminder. The last one, <laughs> another reminder. Please join that class if you really need it. Please join that class if you really need it. Don't join the inputs class just because you heard that there is someone who is teaching about inputs. If you really need it, if you are ready to learn, because it is a learning process. If I'm supposed to teach you the things that I have taken eight years to learn, then that means it's a seven days of serious writing down your notes. I've seen, I saw a lady who just said in the group that at it is monotonous and it is outdated to write the notes. Then that means it is for your own benefit. It's not for my own benefit. Remember, when it comes to inputs, any mistake is equals to money loss. Any mistake that you do when it comes to inputs is equals to money loss. It's like you trying to load a container and forget that your goods are supposed to be inspected from the country of origin. Once they are here, it's trouble. Or maybe you forgot to pay for a bill. You don't have a bill of landing. It's a lot of money. Maybe you're trying to do consolidation like the way we do most of us. Then uh, you didn't calculate or you didn't know how to decide whether it is by sea or by air that you're supposed to use to ship your things. Then you use the wrong method and then it cost you a lot of money. Probably something that could have costed you $100 ends up costing you like $700. So that is how sensitive inputs is. Another thing, inputs is not for the, for the lazy. Inputs is not for the lazy. You have to put your mind at work. There is no shortcut. And there is no one to do that for you. I've seen a group where people want someone to import for them. Import everything for business for them as they are seated. And the, their work is to just receive the goods in the country. And that is how that group lost a lot of money. Don't trust anyone with your cash. Put the work in it. Go to Alibaba. Get the suppliers that I've given you. Because I've given you so many suppliers. Get the suppliers that I've given you. Do it as I have taught you. Put in place everything that I've taught you. Receive your goods. That is the best way possible. Other than giving out your money to someone else to do it for you. Another thing. Don't be lied to by someone who tells you that if we come together and uh, you, you guys, if you bring all your money and I import for you all the products, it will be cheaper unless it's a person who is loading a full container. Otherwise, if you are doing consolidation, there is no saving that happens using that method. If your goods are 5 kgs, you're supposed to pay for 5 kgs. If your goods were 10 kgs, you're supposed to pay for 10 kgs. Actually, it only puts you at a, your, your items in a situation where they, you can lose the cargo any day, any time. Because you really don't know whether that person who really brought in the goods together to import for you really had the money. Or maybe they, they decided to eat the money to do the clearing. And the, cast, uh, and the consolidators don't divide goods when one cargo comes under one pro forma invoice. It's so complicated. So be a person who is hands-on and not only inputs, even business. Business is not for the lazy people. I can tell you that for sure. Business is not like, I don't know. It's, it's one of the worst places because you have to do things on your own. You have to work. And that's why you find business people working even as late as 2 a.m. Working as late as 3 a.m., sleeping at 4 a.m., 
because you have to waking up as early as 3 a.m. to place their orders from China. And that is how complicated business is. You have to put the work. But the goodness of it is that it comes with some good money. There is nothing as beautiful as doing business because it pays back. And you will see where you are headed to. You know that sometimes you can work and work and work, but you really don't know what you are working for. If you are supposed to account, if you are told to account for what you have been doing, really you, you try and check, but you can't find whatever you have been doing, for, uh, whatever you have been working for. In business, it's good and it's good and it's good. Another thing, another thing, please don't copy other people. Still on the lazy issue, the lazy are the ones that copy other people's businesses. Please, 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 never ever copy someone else. I saw it when I taught people how, the, the, few, the few people that I was teaching how to do inputs, that I was funding. Yeah, I had a group last year that I was funding and 17, the 17 people. And this is what was happening. Anytime I would upload a video on YouTube, people would take those ideas and implement them. And they would flop and they would start calling the others, the, the people, the, the students that I taught and asking them, hey, you, are, are your goods moving and all that and all that. You know, I get all these reports. I even get a lot of screenshots from that whole group of the, that I that I sponsored how to do business. Please don't 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 ever try to copy other businesses. Come up with your very original idea. That is the only way out. Come up with your very very original idea, and you'll be good to go. Have a reason why am I doing this business? Why am I doing it? Not from a point of I'm trying to copy that lady. That lady on Instagram who sells human hairs, that lady who sells dresses, that guy who sells sneakers. No, not from that point of view. Just to come up with a reason why I'm doing the business and um, see the profit margins, then go ahead and do it. Let, it. let it be your very, very original idea. For all the years that I've done business, I have never at any given point copied someone. I come up with my very original ideas and people, I see people every day trying to copy me. But I come up with my very original ideas and always know that a business has a lot of secrets. So that is why you find someone trying to copy you but they are not going to make it because they don't have the secrets that you have. And let's not forget, in the, book of, in the book of Deuteronomy, is it Exodus or Deuteronomy, where the Bible says that he is the one, God, he is the giver of the wisdom to create wealth. Yeah? He is the giver of the wisdom to create wealth. It is God who gives you that, that unique, that unique idea. It is God who gives you that unique wisdom to run that business for years and years and years. That even if someone else tries to copy you, they cannot. They cannot get to wherever you are. And that is why I always advise people, even as you start your business, put God in place. Better take a day and fast and pray even too. And just dedicate that business to God. Tell God that it is going to glorify him. It is him to take control of each and everything that will happen in that business. And don't forget to tell God that in case you're going to bless me in a way that I won't be able to control myself using this business, don't give me that thing that would make me not control myself. Because we have seen businesses that have been a source of pain to hundreds of people. We have seen businesses that have been a source of people's death. You start a, biz a business, you succeed in it, but you don't know how to control yourself. And that thing ends up killing you. Imagine, maybe you get drunk every day because you have a lot of money that you're making every day. And one day you get a bad road accident when you're coming from a, a bar at, at 3 a.m. And that is where your life ends at a younger age. So always remind God. Anything that I cannot be able to control myself that is going to come up with this business, just know that I don't want it. And make sure you start with God.
That is the key thing. Make sure you start with God. Put in the wisdom that is required. Read books if need be to become a better person. To become a better CEO. Because you'll God with that, God will continue upgrading you from one level to another. One level to another. You won't even imagine. You yourself, you won't imagine. Continue being humble no matter how blessed you'll be. Continue having value for your family. No matter how blessed you'll be, I wouldn't. And I told my class last year. Last year, not at any given time, I would want to teach you or any of my students, maybe a man or a woman, teach them how to do their business and all that. But when they succeed in their businesses that I taught them how to do them, becomes a source of pain to the children, becomes a source of pain to the wife, to the husband, because probably you are the type of a person who just wanted to get money and that's it. If you're a woman, you get the money and now that is the time to mistreat your husband and see as if they are nothing. And you are my student. I've prayed for that and I have fasted for that. I've told God, not any of my students will I ever teach the thousands and the thousands that I've taught and the thousands that I'm going to teach. None of them will I teach and out of my class. They become a source of pain to their family. So don't forget to be, to put your family first. If you're a man, I've taught you how to do your inputs. You're there bringing in your car accessories. You become a millionaire. Please don't be a source of pain to your wife or to your children because the thunder that is going to strike you, you won't even imagine. And I started this with a lot of prayers when I started teaching people how to do their inputs. Probably most of you don't know how it is started, but it is through God's command. Like you are supposed to go out there and teach them the same thing that you do, the same way that you do it. And I believe anything that God has started is full of blessings. And that is why with a lot of, a lot of peace, I'll be able to teach thousands of you. And I never knew that I would, I would be able to teach all of you, but at the moment, I've taught not less than a few thousands, and that is through God's control. So be mindful of the things that you're going to do. Be mindful of the blessings that are on your way. Have some self-control and never forget that he is a God who knows us deep inside our hearts. You may fake it, you may assume that you're a good person, but God knows if I get you to this level, will you be able to control yourself? What a type of a person are you? Are, they the, are you the proud people? Remember, God knows that. And there are people who are down for years and years until they go to the grave just because of their personalities. And God says that this one, you're going to stay wherever you are and stay and stay and stay until you decide to fix yourself or if not so you can forever stay wherever you are that is why you see we are all different even when it comes to our blessings we are blessed differently it is not necessarily because of how hard we work no 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 it's not necessarily because of how good we are or how hard we are we work god knows deep inside our hearts if I do business and I become, I make my millions, how will I be treating people out there? And God knows even if you're proud, probably you don't even know whether you're proud. God knows whether you're, you're a proud person. You can become a proud person. So anytime that you're praying to God, always ask God to let you be the nicest of the nicest people to shape you because you're just a human being to shape you where you, you need to be shaped and to forever hide you under his wings. That is all that I have for you today. Have a lovely one and God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Thank you.